fist in the neck. Soldier. All right, look. Hit the sub button. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. You understand me? Join this Fisk Unit Army and get Fisk Unit tough. Now let's rock. <sighs> Saquon. Saquon, 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 Saquon. Look like Joe Shane playing hardball right now. Look like Joe Shane playing hardball. You see, like, Saquon has no leverage. He really doesn't. And the fact of the matter is, no disrespect to Saquon, but I said this on Church of Giants, I want to say a week ago. Episode 4, Church of Giants, I said he got he to gotta humble himself. He has to humble himself. Life is about timing. Life is about timing. One of the things, you know, when I was driving around 2.30 in the morning in the rain, you know, in my feelings, I ain't going to lie. I was going through some stuff. <clears throat> when I, you know, when I asked for serenity, one of the things that it came to my mind was I had to accept that some, I had to accept bad timing. There's certain things in my life that I can't change that are not my fault. That timing just wasn't right. Sometimes the timing does not align. Sometimes where you are in life, your situation, it doesn't, it doesn't fit. With the opportunity that's presented to you. Sometimes you're not ready for certain things. Sometimes you, you know, sometimes you just, it's not your window. It's not your time. And I say that because if Saquon Barkley was a free agent two years ago, he could have got a McCaffrey deal. If he was a free agent three years ago, he could have got a CMC deal. But the fact of the matter is, in 2023, Running backs is getting paid crumbs. I'm talking bottom of the Dorito bag crumbs. That's what they're getting paid. Josh Jacobs, Saquon Barkley, they should th get on their knees and thank whoever they pray to that they got franchise tag. Because if they didn't get franchise tag, they wouldn't sniff $10 million. The Minnesota Vikings have Dalvin Cook on the trade block. A top five running back on the trade block. Nobody wants him because of his contract. So it has nothing to do with Saquon Barkley being worth the money because Saquon Barkley is the best running back in the league, in my opinion. I think he's better than Christian McCaffrey. I think he's better than Kamara. I think he's better than Derrick Henry. I think Saquon, when he's healthy and we decide to feature him like we did the first two months of the season, can't nobody touch Saquon. So if he was to get $12, $13 million, he would definitely be worth it. But the problem is the timing. It's the timing, man. It's it, in 2023, wide receivers like Christian Kirk get paid. Running backs like Saquon, nah, not so much. So when Joe Shane takes the offer off the table, Saquon got to eat that. And he got to hope Joe Shane is nice enough to give him a good offer again. Because what Joe Shane does, and this is what I've heard, word on the street is Joe Shane operates like a mob boss. Remember I told him Lucky Luciano? You know what I'm saying? I said he, he said he looks like Lucky Luciano. He operates like a mob boss. Well, word on the, the New York football giant streets is this. When Joe Shane makes you an offer and you decline him, he takes that offer off the table, and you can't get it back. Ask Julian Love. Word on the street is he gave he offered Julian Love a contract around the bye week. Julian Love was tripping, wanting $10 million, and Joe Shane didn't give it back to him. He didn't offer him whatever. The contract that Joe Shane offered him during the bye week was more than what he would have made in Seattle, but Julian Love overplayed his hand. Joe Shane said, if you don't take this contract now, we're going to negotiate wherever the market is, come free agency. He did the same thing to Saquon. They offered Saquon 12.5 on the bye week. Saquon didn't take it. So Joe Shane pulled the offer and said, we will renegotiate whatever the market is, come free agency. So now Saquon is out here looking like who did it and ran with it. Looking like somebody stole it, you know, so like somebody killed his best friend, stole his, stole his fucking shoes or something like that. 
You know what I'm saying? He looking all kind of lost and sad right now because he went from getting 12.5 to getting 10 to maybe even getting offered lower than that because running backs ain't getting paid. Dare I say Saquon fumbled the bag. Dare I say Saquon overplayed his hand. At this point, if Saquon got three for 30, he should be happy because he's not a quarterback. He's not a wide receiver. He's not a left tackle. He's not a defensive end. He's not a cornerback. He's a running back. Running backs, is, uh, they're replaceable. Let's call it what it is. So, I don't know what's going to happen with Saquon Barkley. Other than I know he'll be a giant next year. But the, the, but the truth of the matter is... <sighs> I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Teams with quarterbacks don't normally pay running backs. I'm either, let's, let's, let's just look at the teams with quarterbacks, right? Let's, let's, let's look at teams with quarterbacks. How many teams with quarterbacks paid their running backs? Le'Veon never got a bag. They had Big Ben. They had Antonio Brown. Melvin Gordon didn't get the bag. They had Justin Herbert slash Phillip Rivers. And they had Keenan Allen, and they had Mike Williams. They didn't pay the running back. So, really think about this, right? Dak Prescott, had Dak got paid before Zeke? Would they have paid Zeke? No, that's why they let Zeke walk. If The only reason why Zeke got the contract that he got is because they didn't think Dak was that guy. The only reason why freaking Kamara got the contract he got is because he's a receiver they paid Kamara that contract because they use him as a receiver they had Mark Ingram to do the dirty work y'all gotta remember that the Saints paid Kamara the contract they paid him because Drew Brees was giving him 80 catches a freaking season that's why he got the money and Christian McCaffrey guess when he got paid when Cam left Ding, 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 ding. Y'all see the picture I'm painting for y'all right now? These running backs do not get paid when the team has a quarterback and a wide receiver. It doesn't happen. It doesn't. Only reason why Derrick Henry get paid is because Tannehill's not that guy. The only reason why Dalvin Cook got paid is because they weren't paying anybody else. And besides, Kirk Cousins is, he, he's Kirk Cousins. You feel me? Look at, Look at the Philly. They didn't bring back Miles Sanders. Look what you saw in Kansas City. They just want to run. They just won a Super Bowl with uh, Pachinko. You think they're clamoring for a running back in Buffalo? So Saquon Barkley has to really just. I hate saying this because I'm pro player and I want to see all players get paid, but he got to take what he can get because running backs don't matter. They don't. They just don't matter. And the market is telling you runner backs do not matter. Bottom line. And guess what? The Giants have Daniel Jones. The Giants have Darren Waller. And the Giants are about to have a number one receiver real soon. Ain't it? It's no coincidence that they stopped featuring Saquon the second half of the season once they started to trust Daniel Jones. It's no secret. It's not a coincidence. But anyway. That's it, that's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.